So I've gone ahead and wired in the GM sensor into a 3 8 NPT fitting with the Chrysler stock sensor out the other side. Uh, just basically because the wires were short, uh, I chose that. Got the GM sensor leads coming here that's going to go back to the Megascore box. Uh, Megascore needs this extra sensor, uh, which it can't share with the ECU. It's got to be its own sensor. Um, essentially, it uses it for warm-up enrichment so that it can uh, get the motor up into operating temperature safely. Uh, and then it'll know when it can go into closed-loop mode. Uh, if you use fan control, it's going to use this. Uh, I'm not going to go fan control right away, so I'm using the stock sensor still. Uh, it's going back to the Chrysler ECU. It's going to control the fans for me, even though it's not controlling the motor. So uh, basically, I just tapped it in. It's close enough to the <coughs> uh, water inlet here that it should make a pretty good, accurate reading. Uh, I've read pretty much as good as stock or just a few degrees off, so that's good enough for me. So you can pick this GM sensor up for about five bucks at the junkyard. Uh, you can get a brand new with a pigtail for about twenty bucks online. Uh, most of the people who sell Mega Squirrel will sell these. So if you don't feel like going and getting a junkyard one, go ahead and grab a couple of new ones. You'll need one for coolant and one for the intake air temperature. Uh, also about twenty bucks.